Heavy rainfall over the last five to seven days responsible for some excessive flooding and uh, actually major river flooding ongoing across parts of the Ohio Valley and then down into the Mississippi River Valley. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about more rain on the way along with some severe weather by uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then as you head farther west today in the uh, central and southern plains, we're talking fire weather concerns and then farther west into the high elevations out west, some snow. All right, so this is what it looks like in Covington, Kentucky, right near Cincinnati, the Ohio River at moderate flood levels. You can see how much water we're dealing with in these particular areas. But again, right along the Ohio River and uh, places along the uh, Ohio Valley down into the lower Mississippi Valley, you can see a number of green colors. That indicates all of our flood warnings, which again is uh, all due to the fact that we had significant quantities of rain over the five to seven day period. Now, if you go back through the entire month of February, some spots here picking a double digit amounts of rainfall and we're talking uh, nearly 10 and a half inches of rain in Little Rock or at least precipitation and then uh, Louisville actually seeing its wettest February on record with uh, 10.47 inches of rain and then Evansville Indiana also seeing its wettest February on record. Here's the additional rain that we expect to see through 7 p.m. Wednesday. Some isolated one to three inch tallies in some of the same areas that got hit real hard with the heavy rain over the last several days but then it does fade just a little bit as you head farther southeast. Now on Tuesday we could have some uh, severe weather. There's a marginal risk of severe weather out near the Arklatex and it continues on Wednesday but now being upgraded to a slight risk of severe weather. On Saturday we actually had severe weather in the Ohio and Tennessee Valley which uh, did include tornadoes and some fatalities. As you head back to the west we're seeing some snow in the high elevations. A number of winter weather headlines have been posted here and it will be nice to see some additional snowfall in the Sierra Nevada range coming up.